guys? Happy uh, Wednesday. We're snatching. Grab your PVC pipes, grab your brooms. It's time to do some stuff. Uh, we have a nice little six minute EMOM working on some snatch skill. Then we have a retest for anyone who's been uh, following along since we've been at home. We did this workout on uh, the 25th of March. So it is 22, 16, 10, alternating dumbbell snatches or kettlebell snatches and then burpees jumping over or stepping over your dumbbell. Pretty fast workout. Sarah, how fast did you do it last time? Uh, just sub four, so about 350 something. 350 something, I finished it in 340 something. So the goal today is to finish it a little bit faster than you did last time, so uh, go hard. So there was a 10 minute cap originally on this one. Today, since we're retesting, I'm gonna make it a nine minute cap. So you gotta go a little bit faster. Ooh. I'm gonna force you to go faster. So it's gonna happen whether you like it or not. All right, uh, everybody ready to do stuff? Yes. You ready? I hope so. Yeah, how's your body feel? I'm, uh, you know, it's there. It's there. It's there. It's not terrible. Yeah, yeah, cool. All right, let's start with uh, some PVC pipe dislocates. Grab your swiffer, grab your broom. Let's go up and over the head and loosen up the shoulders. Do what feels good here. My arms are already tired. I, today's health as well workout was like all arms. It was only it was only 10 pound dumbbells, but it was a lot of, a lot of time under tension there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, all right, from here, let's go ahead and get the PVC pipe overhead. Shrug those shoulders up actively, and let's go into some overhead squats. Three, two, one, let's go. Oh yeah, hang out at the bottom if you need to. If your legs feel trashy, it means you were here on Monday. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm just gonna do like three squats during this whole interval. Just gonna hang out. Thankfully, no squatting today, except for what we're doing in the beginning with our PVC pipes or our swimmers. All right, guys, everyone, back on your feet. Let's bring the bar to our shoulders. Let's work on a little bit of speed with some snatch balances. Starting with our feet under our hips, dip and drive, then drop under it. Ready? Three, two, one, and go. Punch. Take a reset each time, just like a jumping jack. Start narrow, then jump wide. If you want to challenge your mobility here, you can bring your hands in a little bit closer every time. Not required, but do what feels good to you. Let's get one more. And relax. All right, next up, let's loosen up the hamstrings a bit. So take the hands nice and wide. We're just gonna do a stiff legged snatch here. So I don't want you guys doing your snatches like this today, but we're just gonna lean forward, kind of a stiff legged position here. Keep the back flat and then just stand up and pull it over head. Three, two, one, let's go at your own pace. So stiff legged snatch here. This is not how you should snatch in general, and especially not today, but we're just trying to loosen up the hamstrings. Got a lot of pulling to do today from the floor. Let's do one more. All right, and relax. Let's get those down. Now that our lower back's warmed up a little bit, let's go ahead and grab our objects. So grab your dumbbell or your kettlebell, whatever you may have, and let's start warming up our snatches. So for these, remember, like we always do, whenever we're doing a unilateral movement in CrossFit, you may not touch your body with your free arm. So let's go ahead and grab your right arm, our left. We're gonna do five deadlifts. Keeping that other arm out to the side. Give me five. Make sure both heads of your dumbbell touch the floor each time, because that is what is required for our snatch today. Once you finish those, five on the other side. Oh, yeah. Thanks, guys. All right. Back to that original arm. Let's go right into our snatches here. We do uh, really no tricks. You guys kind of know what you're doing. So we're gonna go right from the ground and then pull it overhead. Just give me three on one side, three on the other, and then we'll work on switching. Three, two, one, go. Just like opening up a lawnmower. If you have a kettlebell, you do not have to physically touch the ground every time. Just go between your legs, just like a kettlebell swing. Egg, those snatches look so strong. So strong. Take a 45 pounds of light. Woo. Nice gosh. All right, guys. And last but not least, let's work on our alternating. Uh, so what are the rules on alternating, Sarah? Uh, you can switch hands as you're bringing the dumbbell back down, but it needs to be somewhere in this region. In the face. In the face. In the face region. Yeah, so you can't switch up above your head. Obviously, you can switch on the ground, but that needs more time uh, kind of in this compromised position for your lower back. So if you're able to switch as you're doing the alternating snatches, that's going to benefit you. Cool. So let's go ahead and do six alternating. So if you're doing kettlebells, just three and three again. If you have a dumbbell, three alternating, or six alternating, three per side. Three, two, one. Let's go. <laughs> Had to get that one out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. Everyone feel good there? 
Cool. And then just give me one burpee. Jumping one. over your dumbbell. Let's Chest and thighs on the floor. And get over your dumbbell. All right. I'm warmed up. Okay. So let's go ahead and bring the uh, Caucasian board over. <laughs> All right, friends, Zoomers and YouTubers. All right, guys. All right, here's what we got. So, starting off with a six-minute EMON. Minute number one, we're going to do two 15-second snatch pulls to the hip, followed by a pull under. Sarah, can you demonstrate that? Snatch pull. Yeah, yeah, so what you're gonna do is just a, a very slow deadlift. Sorry, there she is. And then at 15 seconds, you're gonna jump and drop under, all right? I will count you guys through the 15 seconds there. We're gonna do two of those in that first minute. Minute number two, we're gonna do five snatch balances plus 10 overhead squats. So kind of what we did in the warm up, those snatch balances, five of those followed by 10 overhead squats. Nice and easy. Cool? Make sense? All right. Sorry, Zoomers, you didn't quite see the board. All right, everybody got it? Go ahead and find yourselves some place to be and we'll get this potty started. We have the remotes. Yes, we do. Successful Wednesday. It's gonna be a great day, I can tell. It's All right. Gonna be great. Woo! All right. Injected some Lysol in my body last night. I feel fucking vigorous. All right, guys. All right. And let's go nice and slow. 15 seconds. So around the five second mark, right about now, we should be at the knee. And then slowly riding our way up to that mid thigh. And then we wanna to get to our hip in four, three, two, one, jump and drop, and stand. Let's do it again. Back down to your shins. Chest stays up, butt stays down. Let's go up nice and slow. Slow, slow. We should be at the knee right about now. Slowly creeping above the knee. We should be around the mid thigh. Three, two, one, stand, shrug, and drop, and stand. Okay, relax. That's minute one. Minute two, we're doing something else. Remember, minute two, we're gonna do five snatch balance. So five of these then 10 overhead squats, just keeping the PVC pipe over your head. No tricks. So we are squatting today. Well, yeah, but nothing heavy. Nothing heavy. Nothing heavy. You actually, ha I, think, I think squatting is good. It's gonna loosen your legs up. It's gonna be, it's gonna be great. I don't <laughs> disagree. All right, guys, here we go. Five snatch balances, followed by 10 overhead squats. Remember, treat your legs like you're doing jumping jacks. Start narrow, jump wide, then keep it overhead for those 10 overhead squats. Keep pressing up into your PVC pipe. Ooh, yeah. Glad we're not squatting today. Yeah. <laughs> this bar feels awful heavy. This Ugh. PVC pipe. Uh, woo, woo. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. 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 Two minutes down. Your hair looks extra red today. Do you, uh, know, it, do you do anything to it? I brushed it. Hey, there you go. There you go. It's a mystery. It's very <laughs> dirty, I'll be honest. That's okay. Dirt gives it that extra glisten. I guess. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> a little bit of salt in there yeah. makes it shimmer. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of sweat and there you go. tears. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, oh. back to our slow snatches. Five, four, three, two, one, and let's go nice and slow. Keep that butt down, keep that chest up, keep pulling that PVC pipe into your shins. We should be at the knee right about now. Slowly winding up. We should be at the mid thigh. Four, three, two, one, stand, shrug, and jump. Good stand, reset those feet back to the shins, pulling the PVC into your body. And let's go up nice and slow, slow, slow. We should be at the shin, or the knee, I'm sorry. Good. And we should be at the mid thigh. Four, three, two, one at the hip, and drop. And stand, all right, nice job, guys. Easy enough. <sighs> So what's your strategy for beating last time's time on this workout? Uh, go faster. Go faster. <laughs> um, no, I think trying to pull yeah, the, the dumbbell back yeah. down. Yeah, that's the so key. So no hang time. All right, guys. Three, two, one. Five snatch balances followed by ten overhead squats. Just do some jumping jacks. That's all it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, legs. What have I done to you? So guys, keep pressing up on that PVC pipe. Oh yeah. If you want to challenge your mobility, you can bring your hands in a little bit closer. Not required, but live your life. All right. Nice bag, there you go, look up. 
Alright guys, just one more round. Then we get to get a, a couple more. What's your strategy to beat your time? Same thing. Physically oh. pulling it down. Yeah. Yeah, and then trying not to poop myself on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> That would be ideal. Yeah, that would be yeah. ideal. That would really eat up my time. Yeah. <laughs> you have to change your pants. Yeah. Who has the time? Don't have time for that important no. workout. Yeah, no, yeah. No. Alright, guys, last set. Coming up on our 15 second snatch. Let's wake those quads up one more time. Three, two, one. Down at your shins. And let's slow wind it up that leg. We should be at the, uh, the knee right about now. Line it right up. It should be about mid thigh. Four, three, two, stand, shrug, and drop. Stand, reset. Back to those shins, and let's go up nice and slowly. Keep pulling that PVC or that Swiffer into your shins, guys. Feel those lats. We should be at the knee. Slow, 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 slow. Should be at mid thigh. Four, three, two, one, stand, shrug, and drop. And that's the end of minute one. All right. Yeah, I think uh, Monday's workout just kind of set the tone yeah. for a whole week of feeling a certain kind of way. The pain. Yeah. <laughs> Everything hurts. Everything hurts. <laughs> and the pain came early this week. Yeah, yeah. Oh. All right, guys. Last minute here. Five snatch balance. Two our head squats and we're done. Three, two, one. Vamanos, muchachos and muchachos. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's it, guys. Nice look up. Uh, very glad this workout is not 22, 16, 10 overhead squats. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, is that like, is that faster? It could be faster. It could be faster. It could be faster. I think it would, I think it would hurt your legs more. Uh, yeah. yeah. This one, this one, at least you get to like just rely on your lower back and your butt. All right, guys, PVC pipes away. We don't need them anymore. Time to get serious. So, 22, 16, 10, alternating snatches, and then burpees getting over your dumbbell in some kind of way. Uh, like we've alluded to, uh, we've all done this workout, hopefully. Most of us that have been following along for the last uh, month and change. So, go right now, try to find your old score on Find My Wad, find out what it is, and all you have to do is beat it. I don't care if it's by one second, Two seconds, five seconds, a whole minute, but I want you to try and beat your score. You have one minute to go and find your old score and figure it out. <sighs> but yeah, for more advanced people, I have been to many a competition in my day, and people who win CrossFit competitions, they move fast in every single part of the movement, right? It's not just about going unbroken, it's about going unbroken and fast. Sarah alluded to this earlier, when it's physically over your head, don't let it hang out there, physically pull that bad boy down, right? So you're almost getting a double pull on the way up and on the way down. Won't make it, uh, won't make it easier, but you'll be able to go faster, all right? No, in fact, it will be more challenging, but that is how we get fitness in and around our hearts. All right, everybody know what your old time was? I'm gonna grab a sip of water. Feel better. Just believe in yourself. Ten seconds. 
You got this, guys. Three, two, one, let's go. For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. For the record, you ain't trying to grow, then it's done for you. For the record, lab on me going all the way. For the record, ain't trying to link no time to waste. For the record. Been a little too nice to y'all. Now I gotta up price for y'all. Snake eyes on dice for y'all. Shoulders on ice for y'all. Frozen. A6 all the hay. I won't get involved today. Got lost in the ball the days. I'm flipping the balls. I'm flipping the, flipping the, flipping the. On record, off record, I still count wins when they got it. On record, off record, I let them take advantage. I was wildin'. On record, off record deals. Tell them talk to column for the quote. On record, off record, I still want the act, not the ghost. Running through it with the young and blooming shadow. Less impressions, I'm succumbing to it. I've been giving yeses when I shouldn't do it. I complete ejection, but the moves are loose. And I'm barely moving, but I'm still gon' boost them. I can't work on winners when I know you're losing. So I work the winners and they throw the Guess I have to pivot, shooting the bazookas for the facts. I need racks, paper, cash, fuck a tax. That's a joke. Tell them, laugh. Uncle Sam, fuck out the back. Brody Plot, we'll get a whack. Contract, give me the max. I got lab on my back. You ain't that, then it's raps. Whoa, 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 whoa. For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. For the record, you ain't trying to grow, then it's done for you. Lab on me going all the way For the record, ain't trying to link no time to waste For the record, for the record, yeah. for, the, for the record Get it guys, come on. Nice guys, work, work, work. Woo! Get it, Luca. Come on, Meg. Let's go. Push, push. Good job, Meg. Killed it there. Let's go, Luca. You got it, brother. Come on. 
Let's go. Keep it up, guys. Keep working. Oh. Woo. Very nice job, Meg. Looking swole. Look at those abs. Woo. You beat your time by like three minutes, huh, Meg? Yeah, nice. 703 to 439. Those are some gains right there. Woo. That's it. Pay's doing power lunch every day. Yeah, yeah Luca. Woo. Nice, Luca. Nice job. Time, what's the time? Uh, it is at 5.27 right now. You probably finished at like 5.25. <laughs> nice job. You guys killed it. Woo! All right, catch your breath, guys. Those of you at home, finish it up. Let's go. You got this, guys. Go, guys. You got it. Woo! We believe in you. Go a little bit faster. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, man. That was good. Yeah. If you uh, feel the need to cough, you probably don't have coronavirus. It's called Fran Lung, a condition in CrossFit where when you build up so much lactic acid and all that stuff, it gets into your throat, then you just <coughs> feel like you gotta die. But that's okay. But that's okay. Yeah. I'll tell you what, I feel better today than I did after I finished it last time. That's good. Yeah, my shoes are still on. Shoes. <laughs> it's a sign that it didn't hurt, that it wouldn't hurt, but <laughs> didn't hurt as bad as last time, and I improved by a little bit. Woo! By a bit. Yeah, not bad. I think, uh... Almost 20 seconds on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think it was 328. So not bad. I tripped over my dumbbell on, yeah. the, uh, on the last set, on my third, my third burpee. I was like... <laughs> yeah. It happens, it happens. Keep yeah. moving, guys. You're Let's not go. quite done. You got a little over two minutes to finish. Yes, yes. If you are done, suggest taking your shoes off. Woo. And uh, let your feet relax. Not a bad idea if you're done to start mashing your feet. Between yesterday's jump rope and today's burpees, feet probably feel a certain kind of way. So either take your dumbbell or kettlebell. You're just gonna stand on the head of it, not the head of your handles, with your feet. And you just roll back and forth on the middle of your foot there. Feels kind of nice. Oh yeah, ooh, that's good. You can also do this with a uh, lacrosse ball, tennis ball, golf ball. Anything that's uh, small and hard. All right, guys, you got 90 seconds to win it. Let's go. With our revised time cap. Woo. Oh, man. Oh, that hurts good. Oh, hello, feet. Woo. All right, athletes, you have one minute, 15 seconds left. Once again, if you're done, it's gonna take care of our feet before we go into our formal stretch. So kick those shoes off. Step onto the head or the handle of your dumbbell or kettlebell and just kind of move your feet back and forth. Do what feels good. Last minute if you're Woo! still working. So Let's go, guys. A minute left. You got this. W E R K. Work Wednesday. Oh, hello. Oh, this feels nice. Woo. Oh. Yeah. All right, guys. 40 seconds. That's 4 0. And we're done. Go faster. You got this, guys. Come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Final 30 seconds, guys. Go faster than you want to. You can do this, guys. Come on, push, push, push. Let's go, let's go. Woo! Crossfit. Woo! Crossfit. Uh, now it's really starting to kick in the uh, throat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hurts more now than it did after I finished. Yeah. Secret of Crossfit. Go faster than you want to before your body has a chance to realize yeah. what happened to it. Ooh. All right, guys. Final 10 seconds. Let's go. Let's go. Last seven seconds. I don't know why I said that. And three, two, one. Woo! Five. We did it. Nice job, guys. All right. Nice job. To the floor. Let's uh, sit for a second. Let's just go ahead and sit on our ankles. Uh, and just hang out for a second. This is easy. Oh, man. We're starting to kick in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, it's nasty. Yeah. Nasty. Yeah. All right, guys. From here, let's just lean back. Palms to the ground behind you. Lift up your chest uh, and just breathe here. Hips up as well. You can get a nice uh, outer quad hip stretch here. Ooh. Alrighty. Relax yourself. Let's get one leg in front. The other knee is going to stay on the ground, like so. And we're just going to do some hip circles here. So, kind of just think extend the leg in front and then circle your way around, 
and then extend on the way back. So we're just moving, making little circles here, doing what feels kind of good based on your physics. Oh, buddy. All right, guys, switch to the other leg. Same thing, one leg in front, other leg stays back. Nice wide stance here, and we're gonna extend it and then bend it, moving around in nice little tight circles. Oh, yeah. Today was nice, it was short. It was nice and short. Yeah, last two workouts were kind of long. Ooh, yeah. yeah. What do you mean, Monday's workout was long? Only 30 minutes, <laughs> in a weight vest. Yeah. Murph is coming up. Whether we're open or not, we will be doing Murph on Memorial Day, the Saturday beforehand, so we'll figure out a way that we can do it remotely as a community. Go ahead and relax, guys, from here. Let's go flat onto your back. Active hamstring stretch here. Bending and extending the leg. I'm gonna grab my shirt. Oh, yeah, yes. Whew. But yeah, if you're gonna do Murph RX this year, highly encourage you to start wearing your weight vest at least once a week for upwards of an hour. Just get used to it. Go ahead and switch legs. Other side. Two years ago was the first year I did Murph. And uh, I got my weight vest in March. And I just started wearing it. I remember that year I wore it uh, coaching class a couple of times during the week. Just to have it on for an extended period of time. Yeah. Alright guys, go ahead and relax. Ding dong! Alright guys, let's take the legs out nice and wide. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We're just going to use the ground and try to scoot yourself forward while keeping your heels glued to the floor. Scoot a little bit closer every time. Once you've reached your terminal flexibility, we're just gonna reach forward. We're just gonna hang here and just breathe. Hopefully my feet don't smell for Sarah. <laughs> they're, they're there we go, cool. Social distance smells. guys three two one relax all right let's pay some bills strip a deadlift let's get three ready and slap it roll it up oh let's get three that's one Ooh. good two last one here three all right guys bottom up squat find those heels right hand down left hand up reach for this guy and switch and switch. And last time, switch. Both hands up. Three, two, one. Stand it up. Awesome job, guys. Yeah. You've made it for a tough few days. Active recovery, much needed tomorrow coming up. Have a wonderful Wednesday. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Let me say goodbye to these folks. We're running out of time. Oh, no. That's okay. We're done. Nice job, Luca. All right. See you guys. Bye, Meg. Bye, Luca. Awesome job. See you guys later. Happy hump day. Did we lose them? Did we lose them? Yeah. No, we're okay. Bye, have a good day. All right. <laughs> See you, Luca. Bye, Meg. Bye, guys. That's a nice breather. <laughs>